Hey guys, uh, welcome to my channel. I'm Gene Decoder. If you guys are new to my channel, I pretty much do Lico style questions and I try to explain things in the simplest way possible. And today we have a very, very good problem, right? So this problem is a uh, kind of variation of the two sum problem. So let's just read the problem, right? Let's get into it real quick. So it says given an array of integers, right? Called numbers. Uh, that is already sorted, right? So the numbers are already sorted in that uh, array, right? It says to find two numbers such that they add up to a, spe uh, to a specific target, okay? Just like two sum, right? right? But this time the array is sorted, right? It says return the indices of the two numbers, one index, right? As an integer array answer of size two, right? And uh, yeah, pretty much all of the BS, right, that we don't need. And it says we may assume that each input would have exactly one solution and you may not use the same element twice. So this is the same thing that uh, Tusum said. So we're going to have a, so we're, we're guaranteed a solution. So um, yeah. So now guys, uh, we have, so we're given this, right? It's, uh, two plus seven gives you the target nine. So we return the index, right? So they, they, they said that the index is one index, right? So that kind of plays a role, right? Because uh, normally we return zero and one, right? But the index is one index, so it's different. So index is one, two, index two, index three, index four, right? Normally it's index zero, index one, index two, right? But now it's one, two, three, four, right? So now that we cleared out, cleared that out, right? We're pretty, we're, we're in pretty good shape now, so. Now the next thing that we could do, right, guys, so uh, I've already uh, went through the example that, you know, we generate every possible pair, combination of pairs, right, and that would give us a solution, right, so we have a double for loop, right, and the, this, for every i, we go check the remainder of the array starting from i plus one, right, to see if there's a matching target, so this would cost us n squared, right, even though no space, right? I've already went. I've already went through that example uh, in my two sum problem video. So if you guys want to check it out, uh, the uh, there'll be a, like you no know, something that pops up, and you could guys could click on it, right? So yeah. So now the the trick, the way we're gonna solve this problem, guys, you know, the very efficient way. So I'm gonna introduce you guys to this uh, two pointer technique. It's a very very efficient way of solving this problem, right? And other problem just like it. So. I'm gonna introduce you guys to that to this kind of technique, and I, I hope that you guys are able to use that technique in other problems. Very very efficient, guys. Very very efficient. So let's just go ahead and uh, let me pull some stuff real quick. All right, so uh, you guys can see we're given a um, two pointer, right? Uh, so so yeah. So uh, the trick is right. We're gonna have two pointers. So since the array is already sorted, right? We can uh, pretty much you know. So at every so we have two points, one at the beginning, one at the end, right? Okay, you guys are following so far. So now we're gonna check, right? The two numbers, we're gonna add up the the where the two numbers are printing at, right? The left two plus fifteen, the two plus fifteen equal to nine. Nope, equal seventeen. So that means that number is too big, right? So if it's too big, we're gonna reduce the the right pointer minus one right to go on to a, a smaller number because we 15 is too big right and uh, the sum of 2 and 15 is too big so if the sum is over the the target that we want we're gonna have to decrement the right corner right if it's under though right if it's under then we have to increment the left corner since we are way above um target we're gonna decrement uh the right corner to um to 11, right? So we'll check 2 and 11, right? Uh, 13, right? 13, nope, too big. So I'm gonna decrement the, the right again, right? Same thing, right? So yeah, this is the this is the, the way it will go, right? We check num numbers of left and numbers of right, right? We check those, those two numbers, right? So 2 and 15, right? too big right so if it's too big now we need to reduce like i told you guys reduce the the right pointer right since we over uh over, overshoot it right overshot it so we decrement the right right pointer to go to uh the 
one right next to it, right? So it does the same thing, guys. Same logic. Um, 2, 11, 13. 13 is too big, so we decrement that. All right, it goes through here, right? And then now, guys, we're pretty much in good shape. So now we just return. So we, we found those numbers. We would just return it as a... Uh, return it as a uh, value, right? So we return the index of those two numbers together, right? Yeah, so the answer will actually be uh, one and two because it's one index, like I told you guys, right? So another example. So yeah, so that's kind of the intuition, guys. So now that we know how to do it, right? The next step is, so let's go ahead and write the code. Hopefully I was able to exp explain it in a pretty good manner. So now, guys, we, like I told you guys, we have two pointers, one at left, zero, and to right, it's going to be pointing at the, the last element. So it will be at numbers, amount of numbers that length minus one, right? To point to the last element, right? So now, guys, uh, yeah, so we have this while loop, right? This is a classic two-pointer technique, guys. Know what I'm saying? So we're going to manipulate stuff using two-pointers, point so... All right, so now for every iteration, right, we're going to check the sum, right? And the sum is going to be the number, numbers of at the left side, right? Plus the numbers at the right side. All right, so now that we have those numbers, right, we check, does it equal to that actual uh, target that we're looking for, right? If it is, we are pretty good. We're, we're it's exactly what we're looking for, right? So we will we, we return, right? The wherever left is pointing at, right? Left plus one, right? And right plus one, right? We do plus one, guys, because I told you guys it's one index, right? So instead of uh, returning zero, right? Instead of returning zero for two. We return one because they say it's one index right there, one index, right? So that's why we do the plus one, right? Because normally it's normally zero, right? We return zero. It's zero index normally, but it's one index, all right? I'm just, I just want to clarify that, all right? So now that we know that, guys, uh, the next thing to do is to, uh, if it's not equal to the target, right? So it's a simple if and else statement that we're going to do to see which pointer we need to move or not, right? It, we need to move the left pointer or the right pointer, right? I told you guys, if we're gonna move the right pointer, uh, that case happens if the sum that we got for, from adding the left and the right together, right? If the sum added to, of those two numbers, if it's too big, right, over the target, that means that um, we need to decrement the right pointer to get a smaller sum, right? That's why we decrement the right pointer, right? So if we, had a smaller sum, right? We need to increment the left pointer, right? Because we need a bigger sum, right? That's kind of the logic and the intuition that I'm trying to bring to you guys, right? So right now we got the sum, right? Well, the sum is less than the target, right? Less than tar target. Are we, if the sum left the target, right? I told you guys we got to increment the left because we want a, a bigger sum, right? Since we were too small. So then if it's too big, we decrement the right pointer, right? And then, uh, yeah, once we get out this while loop, right, we didn't find it, but we're guaranteed to find one, so it doesn't really matter, all right? So let's just, uh, let's try to run the code and see if we, our logic, you know, was pretty, was good or not. It says I'm missing something. Uh, yeah, I'm missing a semicolon. All right, uh, we passed that test case. Let's check all the test cases now. Perfect, we passed all the test cases, right? So yeah, guys, I wanna thank you guys for taking the time to watch this video. Uh, if you guys are new here, uh, make sure to subscribe because there's more, I'm gonna be making more videos just like this one. And um, yeah, uh, let me go to the comment section if I did a pretty good job explaining this problem. And I'll see you guys in the next one.